Hi, my name is Shashank Jain. I'm a certified business analysis professional. I have around 15 years of experience in industry and more than 12 years as a business analyst. I have worked with many organizations like startups, mid-sized companies, and Fortune 500 organizations as well. I love consulting and business analysis, and I have helped many organizations to achieve digital transformation, strategic change, and services related to business analysis. In this video, I will be discussing about CVAP exam questions and especially situational and scenario-based questions that applicants face during the examination. Let's start. Let's understand what are the situational and scenario-based questions. Certified business analysis professional that is CWEP examination, assesses the applicants on the situational and scenario-based questions. The question paper includes such question to assess from the applicants that how they might respond to a hypothetical situation. Such exam questions look for certain type of answers to scenario-based questions. And these questions assess from the applicants that how they would formulate their thought process rather than learned response from the memory. Situational questions require applicants to have in-depth response about a theoretical situation that they might face in the real-time situation. In such questions, applicant has to choose one answer out of four options. The CBAP certificate Questions are based on Bloom's taxonomy. Most of the question makers are nowadays make the questions from this taxonomy. CVAP questions are more aligned to evaluation and synthesis based questions, which are like relating the facts and drawing the conclusions, as well as assessing the ideas and making the reasoned judgments. Let's look at first example for situational and scenario based question let's look at first example for situational and scenario based question from tech canvas exam series let's look at this first question it says jessica wong is a senior business analyst working for a new age insurance company limited in singapore New Age Insurance Company is having a complex organization hierarchy spread across multiple South Asian countries, including Malaysia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. New Age wants to develop an insurance distribution system to deliver its insurance product across locations quickly. Jessica wants to establish an effective plan for project stakeholder engagement. Considering the current organizational context for Jessica, what do you think should be the correct technique Jessica should adopt? So when we look at these questions, which are like situational and scenario based, these questions are quite comprehensive, quite long and have multiple statements and information. For example, we see that the first statement says where the organizational is located. Second one mentions that it has a complex organizational hierarchy. It also gives the information that where are various locations where these company is situated. Third statement says that what that organization wants to build, what are its needs or maybe opportunity. Fourth statement says that what a business analyst now need to do. And it has a statement as well that what he or she has to do, which says Jessica wants to establish an effective plan for project stakeholder engagement. And finally, there is a question as well, which the question maker wants to assess from the applicants. So here we see that in this, in such question, there is a lot of information which is given to the applicant. So here it's important that you read the right question, understand well what all facts which are there, what conclusion you have to draw from here. 
you also need to understand possibly that from which knowledge area this question belongs to. So now let's look at the options because the options are also sometimes not so straightforward. Let's look at the first one. Option A says, Jessica should plan for multiple workshops across locations before establishing an effective stakeholder engagement approach. Second option says, Jessica needs to plan an interview session across locations to understand the stakeholder needs before planning to establish a stakeholder engagement approach. Option C says, Jessica needs to plan to do organizational modeling first so that she can understand various roles and functions in the organization and the ways in which stakeholders interact which can help to identify stakeholders who will be affected by a change. And the fourth option says none of these. Well, all the options talk about stakeholder engagement approach. In fact, that is what Jessica has to build as well. But the question is not only about preparing the stakeholder engagement approach. It also asks about which will be the right technique. So let's attempt one of the answer here and we can also see the justification behind it in this exam series. Here is the justification for the answer that you selected. So in this tool, you can see the question is there. While we see the detailed analysis, the exam series allows us to view the correct answer as well as the justification behind it. So the correct answer here is that the business analyst Jessica needs to do organizational modeling first. So let's look at the justification that why other options are not correct. So it says that workshop is not a right technique, interview is not a right technique, whereas organizational modeling is. So let's see what option A and why it is not right. So it talks about workshops. So it's not a right technique because conducting the workshop across multiple locations will be time consuming and expensive. Option B, which says about interview technique. Well, interview technique is employed for specific stakeholders. And again, it can be expensive and time consuming. When we look back again at the question, it asks that you have to consider the current organizational context. What would be the right technique for the business analyst to adopt? So stakeholder engagement planning should always be completed before scheduling any stakeholder meeting. Thus neither A or B can be a right answer, which means interview and workshop cannot be the right answer. The best answer here will be doing the organizational modeling, which will help in understanding people or units that should be included as stakeholders. Organizational modeling is also one of a technique which is mentioned in the task plan stakeholder engagement in knowledge area, business analysis, planning and monitoring. And you would also observe that these questions has some key terms which are there like complex organizational hierarchy and it is indicating that this option will be the right one. Let's look at another example for situation and scenario based questions for CBAP examination. Let's look into the second question again from situational and scenario based. The question says, a large mobile network company is about to start an IT initiative to provide better privacy and protection of customer data as per the regulatory requirements. This company has outsourced project to a vendor company. Sally, the business analyst from the vendor company is appointed to do the requirement development and management for this project. Before starting the business analysis work, Sally decides to have a meeting with the stakeholders. What do you think Sally is trying to achieve with this meeting? Again, situational based question where multiple statements are given, multiple facts are there that Sally is the business analyst, or she is working with a large mobile network company, 
that company has outsourced the project to a vendor company and now when business analyst has to start their work he or she has to have the meetings and why this meeting is required and what the business analyst is going to achieve with this meeting the options are these the first one says helping the stakeholders understand the relevance of information being sought second option says trying to understand stakeholders availability third option says trying to understand time and place for conducting all requirement elicitation sessions and the fourth option says trying to understand number of elicitation sessions she would require with each user group to get all the needed information well the question says what do you think Sally is trying to achieve with this meeting. Let's attempt this with any option and let's understand what is the right answer and the justification behind it. Here is the justification for the answer. Well, we selected option C, which wasn't right. Let's understand what is the correct answer here. Let's go to the explanation section. So the correct answer is option A which is Sally is trying to achieve with this meeting is that she is going to help the stakeholders understand the relevance of information being sought. So this is from section 4.1.4.5, which is from elicitation and collaboration knowledge area. And it says that stakeholder may be unresponsive or challenging during an elicitation activity if they feel that it is not aligned to their individual objectives. So don't understand the purpose or confused about the process. So Sally may have to explain to them before the elicitation session starts. And that's the correct answer. Why option B, C and D are incorrect? Because option B says that she is trying to understand stakeholders availability. But in the introductory workshop session, a BA generally does not try to understand individual stakeholders availability in the project. And that is why it is an incorrect answer. Option C says trying to understand time and place for conducting all requirement elicitation sessions. Well, in the introductory workshop sessions, a BA generally does not try to understand individual stakeholders preferred place to take part in the requirement elicitation session. That's why this is also incorrect. Option D, which is also incorrect because as the high level requirements are not yet heard and there is no point in trying to understand the number of elicitation sessions as a BA would require to get all information. This is partly true, but point A is more relevant as it covers two other most important aspects to understand in the introductory workshop session. Thus, option D is also not correct. So what we see is it may be easy to eliminate two options, but then you are left with two answers and you have to choose the best one out of it. So what are the key takeaways to solve the situational and scenario based questions? First, read the question well and the options too. Second, look for what all options that can be eliminated. Third, if you are left with two options, mark the best, which is best out of two options and align your questions always with the Babak learnings rather than previous experiences and biases.